going on everybody uh, I just wanted to touch base with you I know it's gonna it looks a little bit different for the ride home review and that's because the movie that I I anticipated watching tonight is not playing in any of the theaters um, in and around Lansing uh, joy of being in a mid-size uh, Midwestern home town and so therefore what I'm going to do instead is kind of, I think I might do this periodically when we run into this situation, is kind of recap uh, the last few months of films and what's out there and so on. And that's uh, that's the deal. There was just not a movie that I wanted to see at this point in time or that drew my interest. Um, but uh, that's going to be a rare occurrence. But I'll just take this week to kind of recap um, what was seen, uh, what I saw over the past couple months and this uh, this uh, really sparked um, from me seeing that uh, Hidden Figures has been released into uh, the stores and if you haven't seen that movie well let's just take it from the top of the movies that really kicked butt this early in the season and they uh, really kicked butt um, I would have to say our Hidden Figures uh, Logan and get out and if you haven't seen any of those movies I highly recommend them I believe uh, Logan is still in the theaters so you'll be able to catch that at some point uh, in the near future um, a couple of the ones that uh, were okay but uh, a little disappointing that we saw that 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 I saw were uh, the founder I was really I was impressed with Michael Keaton's performance but all in all the movie was kind of blah uh, same with split Although I think uh, M. Night Shyamalan uh, really uh, kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, try to ease his way back into the way that he's been known to tell stories. So there's that. And also um, uh, you know, life was a little meh, you know, and chips. It was really funny. There was a lot of funny parts, um, but for the most part, eh, you can wait for DVD, Netflix, or whatever, whatever comes first. Um, Kong Skull Island, I highly recommend you seeing that in the uh, uh, theater. It is spectacular. I liked some of the choices that they made in that movie, but all in all, it's not a movie that's gonna overly wow you, uh, plot-wise, story-wise, anything like that. Um, uh, really underwhelming uh, for the cast that's in it. But all in all, for a first quarter, um, usually this early in the year, it's not as, it's not what you normally see with these heavy hitters of movies. Oh, also Fences. I never did a review on that one, but I highly recommend uh, Fences as well. If you haven't had a chance to see that, um, please do. It's some spectacular performances. Um, uh, by Denzel and so um, and, the, and the rest of the cast so there you have it um, I'm gonna do these periodically just stay tuned because I'm going to be um, actually developing a YouTube channel for the ride home reviews I've been getting a lot of positive feedback so uh, it'll be a way for you to go back and look in case you are looking for watching one of the the movies I reviewed on the way home and want to check out the DVD so and wonder what I said about it so there'll be a YouTube channel plus other things so stay stay tuned over the next couple weeks I will still do the spontaneous one for all my Facebook friends first and then it'll go out to YouTube after um, so yeah there's a lot of stuff happening I really enjoy it I'm glad that you enjoy it but uh, next week I don't know what I don't know what I'm, we're gonna pick but um, I, I, I encourage you to see the ones that I really really liked and so I guess uh, next week it'll be a surprise. I will talk with you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.